Hello everyone, today in this lecture we are going to work out uh, the next type of the regulation or regulator design. controller design where controller is not any more gain but it has some dynamic it has some transfer function and again the game is going to be find the regulator such that the closed loop uh, characteristic polynomial or closed loop transfer function is stable. So the claim is that any nth order plant can be stabilized. When I say n order plant, I think g of s is equal n of s d of s and n is order of d of s polynomial polynomial So, can be stabilized by n minus one order controller. which does explain the C of S which is N C D C of S N C of S that D C of S is N minus one order polynomial. Okay, so this is the claim, and this is what we are going to demonstrate on a simple example. <coughs> Excuse me. So let us look at the example given as follows, given the reference, plus minus, and design of the controller C of S for the following plant. The plant is 4S minus 1 divided by S squared minus 8S plus 2. This plant is obviously unstable because we have here minus 8. And if we start with the basic gain controller, in this case, which is just a simple gain, we can find out that the closed loop characteristic polynomial is going to admit the following stuff s squared minus 8s plus 2 plus k, we always start with the simplest possible plus k. We always start with the simplest possible uh, controller, and in this case, this is just a gain controller. And this is k, and this is 4s minus 1 equals 0, which leads after we reformulate 
with coefficients to the following structure that it is minus 8 plus 4k plus plus 2 minus k. So in order to have a stable polynomial, we require that minus 8 plus 4k be greater than 0. And that's 2 minus k is also greater than 0. Therefore, this is something that cannot be satisfied for any k. In other words, condition here requires that k is greater than 2, and condition here requires that k is less than 2. And, and having that, we see there is no k that can stabilize the system. Therefore, we need to bring some dynamics into the controller. In other words, for the second order plant, why second order? Because here, second order is order of the polynomial here. This is our polynomial D of S, second order plan. We claim there should exist C of S, that is the first order S plus alpha zero, plan, uh, S plus alpha zero, so first order controller, such that we will ensure closed-loop system stability. Not only that, we can assign desired closed-loop system stability. This is even stronger requirement because we can add here alpha 1 of s plus beta 0 to be just parameters here because we can put anything here except the polynomial which is higher of the first order. And let us demonstrate in this case what we have. We have again for the controller, which is just n minus 1 order than a plant, it's a first order controller, we obtain that P of S is S squared minus 8S plus 2. multiplies s plus alpha 0 plus 4s minus 1 multiplies alpha 1s plus beta 0 equals 0. Okay. If we multiply all these terms, this will become s plus minus 8 plus alpha 0 plus 4 alpha 1 next to the s square plus 2 minus 8 alpha 0 plus 4 beta 0 minus alpha 1 next to s and here we will just have a 2 alpha 0 minus beta 0 equals 0 okay in other words we will have a closed loop characteristic polynomial, coefficients to be the functions of alpha 0, alpha 1, 
and beta zero parameter. Therefore, one can have desire be desired closed loop system behavior obtained as a S plus P1 S plus P2 S plus P3 which after the computation this S plus P1, P2 are for example P1 is here P2 is here P3 is somewhere here. Okay, this is imaginary. Those are all real. Poles. This is real. Which will become S cube plus some A1. In this case, A2 because it's next to the coefficient S squared. It will become A1 and it will become A0 plus S plus A0. So A2, A1 and A0 are going to be numbers because P1, P2 and P3 are numbers. So these coefficients such that we can essentially claim that this coefficient has to be A2 this coefficient has to be a1 and this coefficient here it has to be a0 okay which is exactly what we obtain from desired closed loop uh, closed loop uh, uh, poles in other words this design methodology places the eigenvalues of the closed loop system at the desired location okay not only that you can stabilize by just choosing randomly alpha 0, alpha 1, and beta 0, such that cubic polynomial is stable, but you can have desired stabilization of the closed loop system. How this is obtained? One can easily construct the matrix of 1, for zero, this is associated with uh, alpha zero, alpha one, the zero equal a two, and here is a one, here is a zero. Here it's plus 8, okay, here is minus 2, and we don't have anything here that's associated with this element. So that minus 2 is this 2 that I flip on the other side, where this matrix is going to be 8 minus 1, 4, and 2, 0, minus 1. So 1, 4, it's essentially coming from 4 alpha 1, 4 alpha 1, alpha 0. This is the first equation associated with the coefficient a2, second equation associated with the coefficient a1, and the last equation associated with the coefficient a2. This matrix can be inverted. So I'm claiming this is some matrix a hat. I'm calling my coefficients here x equal some b hat and x can be obtained as a hat minus 1 b. In other words, you will obtain the coefficients alpha 0, alpha 1 and b 0 such that the closed loop system will have a desired 
closed loop eigenvalues or closed loop poles will be P1, P2, P3. In this way, one can easily stabilize and order plant, this is the claim, that an order plant can be stabilized always by n minor order controller. How? By specifying bc of s and just adding additional parameters alpha 1 and beta 0 to ensure closed loop desired eigenvalue placement or pole placement in the sense that alpha 1, beta 0 and alpha 0 are going to enforce the desired distribution of the closed loop system poles. This is dynamic controller because we have here first order dynamics in the transfer function of the controller. And it achieves closed loop system stability we desired assignable closed loop poles.